Good evening, and welcome to the Class of 2020 Interborough Scholarship and Awards Ceremony. My name is Ryan Johnston, Principal of Interborough High School, and it is my distinct privilege tonight to present to you some of our brightest, most talented, and upstanding community members of Interborough High School. Tonight, we recognize our art students on several platforms, whether it be in the classroom, on the fields, out on that stage, or community. They have been selected by the scholarship committee as well as the individual donors who feel they have earned these awards and scholarships because they are the epitome of excellence and buck pride. So to the class of 2020 and all award scholarship ceremony winners this evening, congratulations. Good evening and welcome to the class of 2020 scholarship and awards virtual ceremony. Before we start with the distribution of awards, we'd like to recognize the newest members of the class of 2020 Interborough Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame was established in May of 2000 to honor the accomplishments of those individuals who through their outstanding achievements and service have brought recognition to the Interboro School District. The Interboro Hall of Fame was conceived as a joint effort on behalf of Glendore, Prospect Park, and Interboro High Schools. The Interboro Hall of Fame's goal is to recognize alumni that have distinguished themselves by significant contribution in their field of work or study or the Interborough School District. Also recognize former staff or community members that have made significant contributions to the Interborough School District. By honoring these positive role models, we hope to inspire the current students at the high school. Yolanda Riddell Angstadt, Interborough Class of 1986. During her high school years, Ms. Lonnie Angstadt knew she wanted to pursue a career in healthcare and volunteered in the nurse's office and at Taylor Hospital. Upon graduating high school, she graduated from the Delaware County Community College Registered Nursing Program and later graduated from the Hahnemann University Physician Assistant Program. In 2008, she joined the board of Power Up Gambia, a charity who provides a solar power to healthcare facilities in the Gambia, West Africa. In 2009, Lonnie founded Delmed Aid for Gambia, an organization focused on providing healthcare volunteers and medical equipment to the Boheme Hospital in the Gambia. She also works with the Women's Initiative in the Gambia, helping women achieve economic independence through business initiatives. For the past 22 years, Lonnie has faithfully served the public in the emergency department as a senior physician assistant. She is currently working on the front line to help deal with the COVID crisis. Pat Barr, Jr., Interborough Class of 1978. Mr. Pat Barr exemplifies what it makes the Interborough School community, and in this case, Tinicum Township, a special place to grow up and remain to raise your children. Pat has been a tireless promoter of Tinicum and has contributed countless hours of service to help make Tinicum a better place to live. His volunteerism has taken many forms, coach of various youth sports, president of the recreation board, chairman of the zoning board, as well as a commissioner in an official capacity resulting in various projects benefiting the Tittacombe Township and its district. Pat is an example of a hometown boy who has chosen to remain where he was raised to the benefit of all who live in this special community. James Jim Simpkins, Interborough Class of 1982. Mr. Jim Simpkins enlisted in the United States Navy at once after graduation where he was a recipient of numerous medals prior to his honorable discharge in 1988. Jim joined the Tinicum Township Police Department and graduated from the Pennsylvania Municipal Police Academy, receiving recognition for the highest all-around academic average in his class. Highlights from a stellar career include his appointment as Detective Sergeant in 2004, Task Force Officer with the FBI Human Trafficking Squad, as well as producing and providing drug education to Tinicum's D.A.R.E. officer program. Community contributions include coaching youth sports for the better part of two decades, lifetime memberships in the Tinicum Fire Department and Veterans of Wars and the Tinicum Township Patriotic Organization. As a police officer, Jim is characterized as a natural leader who's meticulous, diligent, and professional, treating victims, witnesses, and suspects with the utmost respect and dignity. Mr. Alan Hostetter, Interborough High School staff member. Mr. Alan Hostetter joined the Interborough School District as a teacher after graduating from Bloomsburg University, 
which began a 35 year career that found him teaching, leading, and supplying support in varied capacities. As a teacher, he provided Interboro's students with practical skills in accounting, finance, and the related business subjects, as well as a mentor and helped influence numerous students to attend college to pursue degrees and careers in accounting and finance. During his earlier years, he coached several sports and spent over half of his career as co-advisor of the Interboro's highly engaged and successful student council. Plus, he served as assistant principal for five years. Al was an integral member of the Interboro Education Association for over 20 years, holding a variety of significant positions. His work helped raise the level of respect for the Interboro teachers, which has had a lasting impact on the ability to attract outstanding educators to the district. Traditionally, we begin this eagerly anticipated part of the program with the introduction of scholarships and awards that are being presented for the first time ever. I am pleased to announce that we have new scholarships that are being awarded tonight. Those scholarships are the Daniel J. Cleaver Memorial Scholarship, the Schweitzer Engineering Scholarship, the Tinicum Township Board of Commissioners Award for Business or Public Administration, Tinicum Township Board of Commissioners Award for Vocation or Trade, the Interboro Alumni Association Theodore and Dorothy Robinson Memorial Scholarship, the Matthew DeSands Memorial Scholarship, in addition to our Interboro Alumni Association Delaware County Community College Scholarship, we have a new Interboro Alumni Association Delaware County Community College Scholarship. I would like to thank all of those who contribute year in and year out from the organizations and who give awards and scholarships each and every year. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Brian Litz to present the Ed Bonderchuk and C. Hilliard Bar Award. We will now introduce the winners of the Ed Bonnerchuk Excellence in Buck Pride Scholarships. Mr. Bonnerchuk is an alumnus of Interboro High School who makes an annual donation and helps us recognize a large number of students. Mr. Bonnerchuk is very happy to give back to his alma mater and hopes that the funds of the scholarship help these students get started in the next phase of their lives, be it a college or university, a technical school, or directly into employment. The following students being recognized will also receive a $1,000 scholarship. They are the students who are ranked 1 through 20 class of 2020. Leonardo Huang, Sean Serpica, Danielle Scott, Lauren Reeder, Taylor Newcomb, Elizabeth Kolesnik, Cassidy Gallagher, Alexandra Gatta, Emily Gosley, Amelia Schneider, Natalie Petito, Thomas Bosch, Charlotte Relia, Lauren Perry, Roger Hummel, Janita Russell, Ariella Abrams, Haley Gonzalez, Madison Ryan Brady, Lillian Yu. The following awards are given in Mr. Bonnerchuk's name as well. These awards are given to seven students who attend the Delaware County Technical School. Upon recommendation from the Votech teachers, these students exemplify commitment, determination, leadership, and academic excellence. Each recipient will receive $1,000. Recipients for the class of 2020 are Nicole Floyd, Cassandra Keene, Ryan Perry, Michael Connor, Victoria Carmels, Dylan Palm, Kiara Hardeman. Mrs. Bonnerchuk Memorial Award. This award is presented to two seniors who will be furthering their education at a college, university, or trade school. These students are active members in the Interboro community and demonstrate the necessary qualities needed to become a successful pillar of the community. The 2020 recipients are Elizabeth Kolesnik, Roger Hummel. C. Hilliard Bar Awards. C. Hilliard Bar is a member of our Interboro Hall of Fame. Mr. Barr passed away in 2007. However, we are still able to recognize students in his memory. The first set of names are students ranked number 21 through 25 in the class of 2020 and will be receiving a $500 scholarship. Ashani Harris, Talitha Kyle, 
Madeline Murphy, Elizabeth Satchfield, Sarah Frank. The following students will also be receiving the C. Hilliard Bar Award for being ranked number 26 through 30 in the class of 2020. They will be receiving a $250 award. They are Tu Nguyen, Jesus Sanchez Ramos, Claudia Frisky, Gabriel Donahue, Catherine Clark. The Arthur R. and Ethel H. Bar Heights Scholarship Fund was established in 1985 to recognize seniors in Tinicum Township, Delaware County, who intend to become teachers. A renewable scholarship, the Bar Heights Scholarship is $1,000 a year for four years and is presented to Roger Hummel, Natalie Petito. Roy Dwyer Citizenship Award is given in memory of Mr. Dwyer, a former Interborough High School government teacher to a student who is active in both their school and community. The award is not based on grades or college plans. This year's recipient of this $1,000 award is Jillian Bucci. Dr. Paulette Bradley Memorial Scholarship for $500 is presented in memory of Dr. Paulette Bradley, who served as the principal of Norwood School for 15 years. Dr. Bradley enjoyed seeing the students, her kids, every day and was a constant encourager of academic achievement and student growth. The Dr. Paulette Bradley Memorial Award is presented to the Norwood student who has achieved the highest average in the graduating class. The 2020 recipient is Leonardo Hong. The Jerry T. Livingston Memorial Termite Scholarships are $500 awards given in memory of Prospect Park Termite coach Jerry Livingston to a termite and Interboro High School football player. Coach Jerry passed away in July 2010. He coached ninth grade football for one year and 10 years of wrestling here at Interboro High School, his alma mater. Jerry's love for the game of football led him to coach for the Prospect Park Termites. After coaching many teams at different levels, he became head coach of the 135 pound team where he made for 11 years up to the time of his death. He instilled in his players a sense of pride, toughness, dedication, passion and camaraderie, characters describing an Interboro Buck football player. This year's recipients are Zachary Keeney, Michael Zane, Agnes Montemurro Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given by the legendary Interboro School District Elementary School teacher to support and recognize a student who will attend Westchester University. The scholarship is directly applied to the student's financial package at Westchester. The 2020 recipient is Danielle Scott. Please welcome Mr. Gibson, who will present the Pete and Nancy Gibson Memorial Award. Hi, this is Paul Gibson. A 1972 Interboro graduate and former principal at Interboro High School. I'm pleased to have the opportunity to join with you in this virtual awards uh, ceremony. I know it's been a very uh, difficult close to the year, uh, but I'm so happy to be part of this. Um, I'm presenting an award uh, that was originally started in 1972 as uh, part of my graduating class uh, at our 40th reunion, or actually our 30th reunion. Uh, and then it was continued on uh, in my parents' name, Pete and Nancy Gibson, after they both uh, had passed away. So this is a $500 award and it goes to a student who has um, persevered throughout very difficult circumstances. Uh, and there've been a number of folks who applied for it, certainly worthy. Uh, this year's $500 award goes to Anasia Phillips. Uh, we wish her all the best. Uh, I believe she's planning on going to Millersville next year. Uh, and uh, we hope that this is uh, in some small way helpful. So thanks so very much for including me uh, and best of luck to Anasia um, in her future pursuits and also to all the graduates from Interboro High School. Thanks so much. Shauna Azowski's Family and Friends Memorial Awards. Three awards are presented to deserving graduates who have met certain criteria. The first award recognizes an athlete who is a team player with a student's heart and dedication and is an all-around good person, Abby Kiley. The second Sean Ozowski Memorial Award supports a student who is involved in Interborough's theater program and also an all-around good person, Janito Russell. The third Sean Ozowski Memorial Award celebrates a student who has been committed to the Lifelinks program at the high school, working with Mrs. Mays to better the community. This year's recipient is Colin Jones. The Anna R. Eschen Memorial Art Scholarship is a $500 award given by a graduate from the class of 1966. Mrs. Eschen taught art at Interboro High School for 17 years 
and was inducted into the Interboro Hall of Fame in 2007. She is fondly remembered for her accepting, loving influence on her students. The graduate found a home in the art department and Mrs. Eshram had a great impact on his life. He is extremely excited to give back to a graduating senior in her name. Our donor hopes that these funds will help the recipient purchase art supplies in the future and continue their love for the arts. The 2020 winner for this award is Kimberly Conby. Kathy Johnson Memorial Award is for a Norwood student who had Mrs. Johnson as their teacher. This year, the Kathy Johnson Memorial Award is granted to two students. Layla Laurie and Haley Gonzalez are the 2020 recipients of the Kathy Johnson Memorial Award. The Matthew DeSantis Memorial Scholarship celebrates Matthew DeSantis, who was a graduate of the class of 2017. Matt played football for the Buccaneers and later helped coach. He was a recent graduate of the Police Academy, but plans to follow in his father's footsteps. The Matthew DeSantis Scholarship goes to a football player who shares Matthew's hard work ethic and passion for the game. The 2020 Matthew DeSantis Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Zachary Keeney. Please welcome Ms. McAvoy, who will present the Richard P. McAvoy Memorial Award. My name is Michelle McAvoy. I am one of the counselors at the high school. I'm really happy to, for another year, be presenting a couple students with the Richard McAvoy Memorial Scholarship in honor of my dad. Uh, he graduated from West Point Academy and then served in the United States Army for 28 years. He then retired from the Army and continued to serve as a government contractor in Iraq and Afghanistan. He assisted in the training of the Iraqi and Afghan military and police forces. Unfortunately, in August of 2015, uh, shortly before I started working at Interboro, he was killed by a suicide bomber in Kabul. So my mom, Kathleen McAvoy, set up this scholarship in his honor. It goes to students who are committed to the military, um, who have um, some plan to, at some point in the future, continue their education. Um, who have been involved in at least one activity throughout high school, maintained at least a 3.0 GPA, and are just an overall good student. Um, so congratulations to those students, and thank you for giving me this opportunity to continue to honor my dad's legacy. This year's recipients of the Richard P. McAvoy Memorial Award are Rocco Colonna, Stephen Hallowell, the next scholarship is generously donated by Interboro Spanish teacher, Jessica Vasquez. Please welcome Mrs. Vasquez, who will present the Richard G. Lawrenson Memorial Scholarship. Hi, I'm Jessica Vasquez, Spanish teacher, and it's my pleasure to announce the Richard G. Lawrenson Memorial Scholarship recipient. This is a $500 award presented in memory of my father, longtime Prospect Park resident, Richard G. Lawrenson. This award recognizes a student who has a strong work ethic and commitment to a job well done. Honoring my dad's ability to fix or build anything he put his mind to, this scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who is intending to go into a skilled trades career. I'm proud to announce that this year's recipient is Daniel McDougald. Please welcome Mr. Cooper, who will present the Kathy Cooper Memorial Award. Kathy Cooper was a 1984 graduate in nursing from Newman University. Went on to our master's degree, critical care from Wyden. Kathy had over 30 years in nursing field. Kathy and her husband, Kim, and two children, and Emily, were in, in Burr School District in 2009. They both were in the kindergarten academy, led by the in addition to academics, they were involved in a variety of sports. Kathy was diagnosed with leukemia in 2012 and passed away in April of 2013. This award helps the participant contribute to the nursing field in a time where nursing is so very The student recipient excels in the classroom and is a leader in the classroom and on the field. The student loves life and cares about others like Kathy did. This year's recipient of the Kathy Cooper Memorial Award is Kayla Droxler. Please welcome Ms. Patty Powers who will present the Jane O'Malley Paracall 
Memorial Award. Hi, my name is Patty O'Malley Powers, class of 92, Interboro. This scholarship is the Jane Marie O'Malley Harakal Memorial Scholarship. It's in honor of my sister Jane, class of 2000 from Interboro. Jane was a scholar in the National Honor Society. She also ran cross country, winter track, and spring track with Mr. McGrady, and she loved her time at Interboro. Um, we have this scholarship in honor of Jane. Um, if you knew her, she always had a smile on her face. After Interboro, she pursued nursing at Bloomsburg University and continued 10 years in critical care nursing. Uh, Jane suddenly passed away in 2014 of a tragic accident, but we honor her memory and this is one of the ways that we do it. So we are really honored for you to have this scholarship and we wish you the best of luck in your future. I know that you didn't imagine that your graduation in 2020 would be like this, but just know the best is yet to come and you're a buck, so you're gonna shine no matter what. Thank you and good luck in your future. This year's recipient of the Jane O'Malley Harakal Award is Alexandra Gatta. The Remshard family has been a staple in the Interborough community for many years. Mr. Remshard passed away after a courageous battle with cancer. By the efforts of the Remshard family and community members, two scholarships have been created to honor Mr. Remshard. This year, the Dave Remshard Memorial Award go to Gabriel Donahue. And the Remshard Family Strength of Character Award is awarded to Janita Russell. The James Camp Memorial Award is given by Superintendent Bernadette Riley. This scholarship is awarded to a high school senior who has exhibited outstanding leadership skills in Interboro's music ensembles, high musicianship skills through solo and group performances, and strong academic excellence throughout his or her tenure. This year's recipient is Matthew Dushkevsky. Francis Costanzo Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 award presented by Mr. Andy Costanzo in honor of his beloved mother to a well-rounded, solid student who is involved in activities and has a strong interest in the arts. The 2020 award winner is Lauren Reeder. The Student Council Christine Brown Memorial Scholarships are $300 awards selected by student council members and given to senior members who demonstrate excellence in scholarship and leadership. This year's awards are presented to Marissa Mullen, Vincent Kaladner, Zachary Keeney. The Daniel J. Cleaver Memorial Scholarship is given in honor of Danny Cleaver, a 2009 graduate of Interboro High School. While in high school, Danny was extremely involved in many extracurricular activities, including student council, class congress, Spanish club, and soccer. He was a great student who always went above and beyond to help his classmates and teachers. He loved Interboro School District with all his heart. This scholarship was set up by friends and family to help graduating seniors continue the legacy of service, leadership, and community pride that Danny Cleaver showed every day of his life. The Daniel J. Cleaver Memorial Scholarship Award scholarships to Interboro High School seniors based on demonstrated academic achievement, leadership skills, service to others, expressed interest in pursuing a career in a trade. This year's recipients of the Daniel J. Cleaver Memorial Scholarship are Anna DeLaw and Dylan Sylvia. At this time, I would like to invite Mrs. Kaylin Spina to announce our Community Organization Awards. Interboro's Community Organization Awards are given by generous donors and organizations within our community. The Ellis Morley Award for $1,000 is presented by the valedictorian Sean Ellis and his wife, who was a salutatorian, Kelly Morley, to a high achieving student who is also involved in a leadership capacity in student activities and athletics, and who will pursue engineering, science, finance, or accounting. This year's recipient is Sean Serpico. The Scott Gerhardt Herf Jones Scholarship for $500 is given to a senior who will continue his or her studies and has shown responsibility, propensity to look out for the underdog, and the capability to stand up for what is right. Scott Gerhardt recognizes as the 2020 recipient of this award is Shawnee Harris. 
The 2020 Cocos Family Scholarship is a $1,000 award given to a student who has excelled in the culinary arts program and has aspirations to become an entrepreneur. The recipient of the Cocos Family Scholarship is Ashe Flamer. The Chester Pike Rotary Scholarship is a $1,000 merit award recognizing a graduating senior for scholarship and extensive community service. This year's recipient is Lauren Reeder. Please welcome Mrs. Jessica Vasquez, who will present the Chester Pike Kiwanis Award. Hi, I'm Jessica Vasquez, Key Club Advisor, and it's my pleasure to announce the Chester Pike Kiwanis Award recipient. This $200 award is sponsored by the Kiwanis Club and honors former teacher Al Rigby, who was a longtime member of the local Kiwanis Club and former advisor of Key Club. This award is given to recognize a Key Club member who best exemplifies service within our school and community. And I'm extremely proud to present this award to Shanita Russell. Please welcome Lois Sauer and Jessica Vasquez, who will present the Beacon of Hope Scholarship. Hello, my name is Lois Sauer, and I'm here to award this year's Beacon of Hope Closed Closet Scholarships. The Beacon of Hope Closed Closet was housed on the top floor of Olive Presbyterian Church in Prospect Park until its closure of October 2019. Through donations, it offered new and gently used clothing to the community at very affordable pricing. Through its 10 years of operation, it earned in excess of $25,000. The Beacon of Hope was started in 2009 by Olivet member Bailey Kern while she was a senior here at Interborough High School. This project earned Bailey the Girl Scout Gold Award and the 2010 Interborough High School Senior Project Award. The Beacon of Hope relied solely on the support of volunteers to keep it running. The Interborough Key Club was a huge supporter since its inception, and we truly appreciated it. For this reason, the Beacon of Hope Scholarship, valued at $250, was established to be given to a graduating member of the Key Club who was going to further their education. I'm thrilled to announce that this year's recipient is Anasia Phillips. The Beacon of Hope was also fortunate to receive help from the Olivet Youth whenever we asked for it. So once again, on behalf of Linda Ermel and myself, I am very pleased to award a $100 Beacon of Hope Scholarship to both Daniel McDougall and Danielle Scott as they further their education at Delaware County Community College and Westchester University, respectively. Congratulations, Daniel and Danielle. Linda and I are very proud of you, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. The Interboro Home and School Association recognizes six winners of the essay contest with $500 awards. The students had to write an essay giving advice to an incoming ninth grader, or they had to describe what their future goals were and how they plan to achieve them. The essays are then judged by a committee within the Home and School Association. This year's recipients are Amber Berkheimer, Shanita Russell, Taylor Newcomb, Abby Kiley, Ashani Harris, Lauren Reeder. The Interborough Home and School Association reviews student work at the annual Interborough Art Show and gives an award for outstanding achievement. This year's Home and School Best in Show Art Award goes to Katherine Clark. The Norwood Home and School Association presents a $200 award in honor of Samuel J. McClellan to a Norwood student who exhibits high qualities of scholarship, citizenship, integrity, and service. This year's award is presented to Stephanie Oster. The Glen Olden Home and School Association presents a $250 award to two exemplary Glen Olden students. This year's awards are presented to Alexis Talbot and Sean Serpico. The Interborough Board of School Directors presents two $1,500 awards to students who excel in leadership and scholarship throughout their high school experience 
and exude Black pride. This year's recipients are Lauren Reeder and Zachary Keene. The Interboro Music Boosters present three $250 awards to graduating seniors who have been a member of the marching band for at least two years and who will pursue higher education. Students are selected through an essay application process. The 2020 recipients of the Interboro Music Boosters Awards are Kimberly Conmey, Thomas Bosch, and Lauren Reeder. The Interboro High School Theater Boosters present three awards this year to a senior student from each theater group, cast, crew, and pit band, who, through their continuous participation, have made a positive contribution to the Interboro High School Theater Program. The cast award goes to Bailey Collington, the Stage Crew Award goes to Jacqueline Floyd, and the Pit Band Award goes to Matthew Dashkuski. The Friends of the Marching Band Scholarship is presented to a member of the Interboro High School Marching Band who embraces values such as camaraderie, leadership, discipline, and teamwork. The recipient of the $500 scholarship will pursue music in college. The Friends of the Marching Band Scholarship goes to Sarah Frank. The Prospect Park Police Scholarship is a $100 award presented to a student who has achieved honors and engages in community service. This year's award is presented to Danielle Scott. The Prospect Park Pride Awards are two $500 awards presented to residents of Prospect Park who are good citizens of the high school and community. Mayor Jeff Harris would like to share this message with the awards winners. On behalf of myself and Prospect Park Borough Council, we would like to congratulate you on being selected for the Prospect Park Pride Awards Scholarship. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. This year's recipients of the Prospect Park Pride Awards are Bailey Collington and Daniel McDougall. The Prospect Park Youth Club Richard A. Walk Scholarship is presented to a graduating senior who maintains a GPA of 3.0 or higher, plans to further his or her education, and has been a member of the Prospect Park Youth Club for more than seven years. This year's recipient of the $200 award is Jason McWilliams. This year, the Norwood Historical Society would like to present a graduating senior with a $100 scholarship as recognition of his or her academic and extracurricular success. Congratulations go to Lillian Yoon for being this year's winner. The Tinicum Police Department would like to present an award to a student who is a Tinicum resident that is involved in school and community organizations. This year's recipient is Natalie Petito. This year, the Tinicum Township Board of Commissioners is excited to announce the Tinicum Township Board of Commissioners Awards. These awards were established by the Tinicum Township Board of Commissioners to honor two separate graduating seniors who are residents of Tinicum Township and plan to further their education beyond high school. Recipients of this award have shown commitment to their community through volunteering or community service, shown a strong work ethic, and plan to further their education beyond high school. The first award is presented to a senior planning on attending a college or university to pursue business administration or public administration degrees. The recipient of this year's Tinicum Township Board of Commissioners Award is Rose Hume. The other Tinicum Township Board of Commissioners Award is presented to a senior planning on attending a post high school program pursuing vocation or trade. The recipient of this year's Tinicum Township Board of Commissioners Award is Hannah DeLal. The Philly Misfit Nation Overcoming Obstacles and Meeting Opportunities Scholarship is two $500 awards. Philly Misfit Nation began as a team of family and friends interested in health and fitness. It has since grown into a nonprofit organization that works to overcome obstacles and meet opportunities through fitness, education, and outreach. This year's award winners wrote an essay that described the role of fitness, education, and outreach in their lives. This year's recipients are Haley Gonzalez and Cassidy Gallagher. At this time, I would like to invite Mrs. Noel Ackland to present the Class of 2012 Scholarship. My name is Mrs. Ackland and I was one of the advisors for the Class of 2012. 
This scholarship was created to recognize a graduating senior who exhibits success in academics, leadership, athletics, and the arts, which is representative of the well-rounded students who comprise the class of 2012. I'm proud to award their scholarship this year to Shannon McGinn. The class of 2015 scholarship is awarded to a student who displays buck pride and excellence both in the classroom and in class Congress. The recipient has maintained a balance between academics and extracurricular activities and has gone above and beyond what is necessary to make class Congress a success. This is the student who shows up early, leaves last, and always comes through when needed. This year's recipient is Nicole Floyd. The American Red Cross Award. The following student council members have assisted with and coordinated the American Red Cross blood drives since the fall of 2018. In their senior year alone, blood drives collected 93 units of blood. Each unit saves three lives. These students are being recognized for their leadership and will each receive an award. The American Red Cross Award recipients are Kayla Droxler, Bridget Receiver, Kayla Mathis, and Ashani Harris. At this time, Mr. Ryan Johnston will present the Interboro Alumni Association Awards. The Interboro Alumni Association will be donating multiple awards tonight. All recipients will receive their award as well as an Interboro Alumni t-shirt. The Interboro Alumni Association ABC Award is a $500 award given in recognition of the retired teacher and current activities director, Mr. Andy Costanzo. The recipient of this award is in the top 20% of their class and is a good citizen of the high school and community who consistently engages in a meaningful community service. The winner of this award for the 2020 school year is Haley Gonzalez. The Interboro Alumni Association would like to continue to recognize seniors who plan to attend Delaware County Community College with three additional awards. This year's recipient for another $500 award is Jessica Pappas. Additionally, we have two $250 awards, one for Jacob Welsh and the other for Amanda Akins. Congratulations to this year's recipients. Both of our two Interboro Alumni Association Service Award winners displayed a heart for service that extended beyond one event and shared their desire to help others, even when there was nothing in it for themselves on an ongoing basis. I am pleased to recognize Lauren Perry and Shamar Wright as this year's winners. This academic scholarship is in memory of the late Renee K. Meisenhelder, a 1992 Interboro graduate, Penn State alumnus, and childhood resident of Tinicum Township. This year's recipient was chosen based on their written essay about future goals and their need for financial assistance. We are proud to present the 2020 Renee K. Meisenhelder Academic Scholarship in the amount of $5,000 to Lillian Yun. Amanda Tweston from WSFS Bank is excited to have us share the next award. WSFS Bank was founded in 1832 and is the largest bank in the Delaware Valley. WSFS Bank is passionate about educating our customers and the community to do what is right financially. Although we are experiencing unprecedented times, it's more important ever to come together as a community to celebrate accomplishments and important milestones. This year, the students were asked to submit essays on how they would plan to pay for college. The winning recipients are Sean Serpico, Bridget Receiver, and Amber Berkheimer. Congratulations to the winner of the entire class of 2020. This year's Interboro Alumni Association Communication Technology Scholarship is awarded to a student whose essay showed a vision of their next step and goals. They wish to use their eventual skills to help make better lives for others from what they can hope to create. This year's recipient 
is Brian Massaja. The Interboro Alumni Association would like to celebrate community members 80th birthday. Her family wanted to honor her by donating a $500 award to recognize a senior who plans to attend Delaware County Community College. This year's recipient, Charlotte Relier. The Theodore and Dorothy Robinson Memorial Scholarship was created by the Robinson and Ridewood families to recognize a student whose life was impacted by their willingness to volunteer in service to their community, church, or country. We thank the winner of our scholarship for describing how volunteering has changed their life in a positive way, and beautifully written essay. We are pleased to award a $1,000 scholarship to Amber Berkheimer. Please welcome Ms. Noelle Ackland to present our next award, the Marianne Shalor Advanced Placement English Award. Retired Advanced Placement English teacher Marianne Shalor gives an annual scholarship to a senior enrolled in AP English who exhibits a love for literature and possesses superior talents in writing. As the current AP literature teacher, it is my distinct honor to present this award to Jade Greel. Please welcome Mr. Dave Hine to present our next award, the Dave Hine Excellence in Math Award. Hello, Interboro. My name is David Hine. I taught mathematics in the Interboro School District for 35 years, retiring in the year 2012. It is with that retirement that I instituted the Excellence in Mathematics Award presented to the top math student in the Interboro High School. It gives me great pleasure to present this year's winner for the year 2020, Leonardo Wong. Congratulations, Leonardo. For the class of 2020, I'm briefly reminded of a speech I gave to graduating seniors 10 years ago. It was about obstacles. As history has shown, you will be faced with obstacles and difficulty in pursuing your dreams. Those individuals that can adjust, adapt, and overcome have success. How you handle adversity and the inevitable bumps along the road will determine how far you go. If you find a path with no obstacles, it usually leads nowhere. It is important to understand it's not the event or the obstruction that disrupts your route to success. It's how you react. It's what you learn from the experience that will ultimately determine your fate. You do not drown by falling in the water. You drown by staying there. The secret is turn a negative into a positive. I challenge you to continue to maintain a positive attitude when trouble inevitably knocks on your door. You will make mistakes, learn what you can, and move on. Good luck. Best of wishes to the class of 2020. Please welcome Ms. Ann Damp to present our next award, the Interboro Education Association Award. Hello, my name is Annie Damp, and I'm a teacher at the high school and a proud member of the Interboro Education Association. I am here today to introduce the IEA Teacher Scholarship. This scholarship is for students who are pursuing a degree in education. Students who applied wrote passionate essays about how they would keep their classrooms dynamic in this era of intense data collection and standardized testing. The anonymous essays were evaluated by a team of IEA members from across the district and two winners were chosen for a scholarship of $1,500 each. We are thrilled to award these scholarships to such promising future teachers. Congratulations. This year's Interboro Education Association award winners are Bailey Collington, and Abby Kiley. The Interboro Education Personnel Association, which represents the district's administrative assistants and confidential secretaries, awards two graduating seniors for their business excellence with $250 in scholarship. This year's recipients are Jacqueline Floyd 
and Jamil Brown. The Interboro High School LifeLink Award is given to a student who exemplifies outstanding volunteerism and leadership. The student is a role model for other students and goes above and beyond classroom requirements to demonstrate excellence and pluck pride. This year's recipients are Devin Lawrence and Ashley Ledger. The Physics Olympics Award is an award that is given to the most valuable player for the 2018 through 2020 Physics Olympics. The winner for the 2020 year is Leonardo Huang. The Phi Beta Kappa Society is the oldest academic honor society in the United States. Each year it presents a book to a high achieving high school graduate who has served with integrity. This year, Phi Beta Kappa Awards Douglas Brinkley's American Moonshot, John F. Kennedy and the Greatest Space Race goes to Danielle Scott. Funds for the Interboro High School Buck for a Buck Award are collected throughout the year as staff members contribute to the fund every Friday. The money raised is also supplemented by the Home and School Association. This year, we were able to recognize students who were selected by the scholarship committee for exuding Buck Pride. Each student will receive $150. Congratulations to Katherine Clark, Emily Kolesnik, Madeline Murphy, Kayla Mathis, Amelia Snyder, Justin Robinson, Anessa Kolesnik, Claudia Frisky, Shannon McGinnis, Bridget Receiver, Madison Ryan Brady, Anthony DeLise. Academic keys are awarded to the top students in the given areas to recognize their achievement in a passion for the related subject matter. The business department key goes to Jacqueline Floyd. The family and consumer science key goes to Morgan Dixon. The technology education key goes to Vincent Kalodner. Please welcome Mr. Hay to present this year's art key. This year's art key recipient is Kim Conmey, a student who not only exceeds all the classroom expectations, but happens to be one of the most kind and helpful students I've ever taught. Congratulations, Kim. Good luck next year at Kutztown. Please welcome Mr. Friel to present this year's band key. The band key is given to a student who has demonstrated outstanding commitment to the instrumental programs at Interboro High School, has taken on leadership roles within the program, and has worked diligently in the pursuit of improving one's own musicianship. The student who receives this award is quite literally the key to the success of our programs. This year's recipient has demonstrated leadership on the marching band field and excellence in musicianship on multiple instruments in the jazz and concert bands. This year's recipient has done all of this while achieving high levels of academic success across the curriculum while demonstrating responsibility and good character. I am honored to present this year's band key to Lauren Reeder. Please welcome Ms. Knaus to present this year's choir key. I'm Hannah Knaus, the choir and theater director here at Interboro High School, and I am proud to give the choir key to Charlotte Raillier. She has demonstrated exceptional leadership and exceptional talent to this program, and um, I am honored to have been her teacher. Congrats, Charlotte. Please welcome Ms. Acklin to present this year's English Department Key. I'm Mrs. Acklin and I'm the Subject Area Coordinator for the English Department. This year's key is awarded to a student who has excelled in her English courses over the last four years, including AP Lang and AP Lit. I know she will make us proud as she pursues a degree and eventual career in journalism. I'm thrilled to present the 2020 English Key to Lauren Reeder.
Please welcome Mr. Beckett to present this year's mathematics department. The Interboro High School Mathematics Key is presented to a student who has demonstrated four years of outstanding performance in the field of mathematics. Typically, the award goes to the student with the highest grade point average in AP Calculus, our most advanced class. This year's winner is no exception. But in addition to taking AP Calculus, this student has also excelled in AP Statistics and has been an invaluable member of our Q team for the last two years. This year's winner of the Interboro High School Mathematics Key is Mr. Leo Huang. Please welcome Mr. McLaughlin to present this year's physical education key. Well, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2020 in these unprecedented times. I'd also like to congratulate all the recipients of awards and scholarships in tonight's ceremony. Our physical education key will be given to Andrew Lynch. Andrew went above and beyond his duties as a physical education major in the first semester, basically went hand in hand with our long-term substitute, helped her get through that whole semester and then did tremendous work Buck Buddies program, and especially with the Fall Festival. Again, congratulations, Andrew, on winning the physical education major key, and to all the other uh, scholarship and award winners. Please welcome Mrs. Warner to present this year's science department key. Hi, my name is Nicole Werner and I am the curriculum coordinator for the science department. This year, I am pleased to announce that Taylor Newcomb has received the science department key. She has taken six credits of science and excelled in every single one of them and she will be majoring in science next year in college. Congratulations. Please welcome Mr. Soroka to present this year's Social Studies Kit. Hello everyone, my name is Bill Soroka and I'm the Subject Area Coordinator for Social Studies. I wish we were under different circumstances and we were live in the auditorium to present this award, but we'll make do with what we have. I want to announce that the 2019-2020 winner of the Social Studies Key goes to Miss Lillian Hunt. Congratulations Lillian. Please welcome Ms. Malinich to present this year's Visual Media Key. Hello, this is Mrs. Malinich presenting this year's Visual Media Key. The recipient this year is Shamar Wright. Shamar is an outstanding video editor, and I can't wait to see the big things he does with his future. Congratulations, Shamar. Please welcome Mrs. Vasquez to present this year's World Language Department Key. Hi, I'm Jessica Vasquez, Subject Area Coordinator for the World Language Department, and it's my pleasure to announce this year's World Language Key recipient. This award goes to a hardworking student who has a strong interest in language acquisition and is dedicated to furthering their understanding of language and culture. This year, the World Language Key is presented to Claudia Frisky. Congratulations. At this time, I'd like to recognize our salutatorian and valedictorian for their outstanding academic achievements. Salutatorian, Sean Serpico. Valedictorian, Leonardo Wong. Congratulations to all of our award winners this evening and the new members of the Class of 2020 Interborough Hall of Fame. 